Sebastian, one of the big concerns here is traffic because if you put incarnation into your Google Maps, it takes you right here to Remlinger Farms. People we speak spoke to today say that's a big part of the problem. We're not happy with the county's decision to have allowed this scale of a venue. Jules Hughes is one of three members of the Carnation Community Alliance, a group opposing a new concert series run by the Seattle Theater Group and coming to Remlinger Farms, a popular destination for berry picking in the summer and pumpkin picking in the fall. Pumpkin season, traffic is bad. It can be backed up from that intersection all the way to the bridge at the base of Tolt Hill. Traffic is one concern the Alliance has with the series, which kicks off next month with Portugal the Man, bringing up to 6,000 people to the farm in a three and a half hour time frame. All these cars coming in 34 times a year, parking with that many, and all the, all the pollution and degradation of, of soils and farmland. Traffic aside, the Alliance says environmental and noise pollution are big concerns too, and they're wondering why the city and the county allowed permits to go through without proper research. You don't want to just take a chance. It's not just like, let's, te let's test this thing out and ask for forgiveness later if if it really has horribly negative impacts. We took those concerns to Jim Rebel, the mayor of Carnation. You know, our concerns were exactly what they have. And I think what they've put in place with traffic mitigation plans and with noise mitigation plans, I'm not saying there's not gonna be any traffic. Uh, I'm not gonna say that, you know, it's not gonna be painful at times, but I don't think it's gonna be as bad as people are put, making it out to be. Rebel says Remlinger has hosted concerts of this size before, learned from their mistakes, and are better prepared to tackle issues like traffic. He also says he was involved in the permitting process, which involved both the city and King County, and claims it went through legally and with extensive research. But Jules isn't buying it and says they're asking for more transparency about the process. And I just want to be clear. I mean, this isn't an anti-Remlinger. It's not an anti-SGG. It's, it's a pro Snoqualmie Valley and it's protection. Another topic up for debate here is tourism. The mayor said that uh, the concert series will bring in more business into the small businesses in town. We did speak to some employees of some businesses today. A lot of them told us people who come to Remlinger just sort of leave from Remlinger. Meanwhile, we did reach out to Remlinger Farms. So far, have not heard back. For now, reporting live here in Carnation, Angela Cockaday, King 5 News.